thing on? Are you there? Hello? People of Earth. Attention. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I am so smart. No, I am Lou Gallagher. I am so smart. No, you're no, I am Corvette, Lou Gallagher. No, you're Corvette Ronnie. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Welcome to our episode of Fen Friday, where we share our Fen correspondence with you. Today, some comments and some emails, just in case you haven't seen them. Uh, you know, we tell you that we get a lot of email, and honestly, I could show you a page with about a hundred mm. different solves on it right now. Uh, some I will be bringing to you. Some need to be massaged a little bit more. Um, some we don't have permission to share. Yeah, of They're course. Just for our right, our viewing pleasure. And you know, we're okay with that. Yeah. Really, um, if you say to us, "I'd like to keep this, keep you, have you guys keep this under your hat," and we can do that, it, it's not a problem. But no. we we'd like to get this feedback. We'd like to get some new ideas. We like to see how close we think a person might be to an actual solve. Not that we know, but um, no. Ronnie, what do we got up first today? Okay. Uh, it's from James Devine. Oh, I think I know James. What does he have to say? James this week? says, I would have enjoyed today's show. Oops, hold on. There we go. I would have enjoyed today's show, except that today is the one day per month. I purposely go negative on everything. Oh, no, here it comes. Just to get it out of the way. Uh oh. I only laughed about 20 times this show. I prefer 30. I blame that on him. Uh, way to muck, way to muck it up. Oh, we can, if there's a way to muck it, we muck it. We could do it. I heard plenty of interesting info, but it still wasn't enough. Strike two. Oh man, swing mm. and a miss. Still working on the third complaint. We give me a break already. So I'm done with you guys. Okay. Until the next show. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll better. be there. Peace out. Peace out. Thanks, James. That's really nice, James. See you at the next show. And again, see, here's the thing. Our viewers are so freaking, they're just, they're creative. Yeah. Uh, they come back with funny comments to our comments. Um, here's one. I get I get comments like this a lot, Ron. Uh, this is from a gentleman by the name of Robert. And uh, to give you the backstory, Robert has his own solve. But like a lot of people, he wants someone else to go look for the treasure for oh, him. Oh, boy. He says, I sent this, and he sent me an attachment, which I'm not going to... I sent this to try and get a person to look because on a video, she said it was her passion. But she blew me off too. Uh, too bad. I was right. Okay, Robert. I, here's my reply to him. Hi, Robert. Thanks for watching our show and thank you for sending your solve. There is something that you need to understand, buddy. Uh, it's called risk. Think clearly about what you're asking. You are offering your solve to someone who is willing to risk their time and money, and life for that matter. What if your solve is right? They find the treasure and you want 10%? Are you willing to offer 10% of their expenses when they don't find the treasure? Risk. If you have a solve, go find it yourself. Otherwise, you're just a researcher, Ronnie. Yep. Uh, with the same results as me, and I'm not even looking. <laughs> Think about my words, okay, Robert? And he writes back. I don't. I'm not sure he got it, Ronnie. Oh, some people don't the first uh, time. Thanks for the advice. Advice. I sent a similar email to a few others who claimed that the chase was their passion, but they also did not reply. And here's the thing: I get the impression that people who have their own solves. Um, they don't want to hear yours. They're a hundred percent convinced that theirs is right. Yep. And you know what? They wouldn't want to find a treasure based on somebody else's clue or solve. Right. They want to do it on their own. Uh, I also, he said, knew about people being two hundred and feet, five hundred feet from the treasure. And Forrest also said he went to it two times from his car in one afternoon. This led me to Big Sky Resort by satellite. 
Also, I wanted to stop these people from looking in wrong places and getting hurt. These people probably did not respond because there is so much noise on the internet. Sorry you think 10% was greedy, but I wanted them to think that I was serious. I don't think 10% is greedy, but uh, you're going to have to, I mean, honestly, and I've said this before, I watch a lot of Judge Judy. You better have it a written contract if you're going to send somebody uh, and expect to get 10% after they've risked everything. They've spent the money to get there. Uh, they've put their life on the line fighting the wildlife and uh, and the other treacherous things, the terrain. Elements. Yeah, the, the elements and the terrain. So I don't think 10% is asking too much, but I'm not sure that... Uh, I'm not sure that I would undertake somebody else's effort um, at all. I'm going to say this. If I solve it, I'm going to solve it on my own. People have died over less treasure. Right. Yeah. Uh, Every day. If you're going to trust somebody with your solve to go and find it and not be concerned about your life, Eh, so be it, you know. Yep. Put it on Craigslist. <laughs> hey, there's the thought. Uh, all right, so Ronnie, this one from Dave uh, O. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Forrest indicates the poem changed, or at least the ending changed when his cancer went into remission. We looked that up earlier. The cancer that he had was kidney. Which is, uh, uh, any cancer is serious. In, yeah, intestinal, yeah. Yeah, but uh, kidney... I think is probably one of the, I, I'm not going to say, none of them are easily treated, but kidney, a lot of times, if it's localized, just take a kidney out and yeah. you can you can live with one kidney. Mm -hmm. uh, his question, does the original version of the poem still exist? Is it written down somewhere? How about the finished version? I believe people would love to see that, even if it's in the future. No, we don't have that much in the years in the future. Yeah. Uh, we'd uh, like to see it, too. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and I, I, you know what? They were actually talking about this on the flip side a little bit last night. They briefly glanced over it. And nobody there, and th these are a lot of people that are uh, intimately involved with the chase. Nobody there really had the answer to that either. So I'm not sure... Uh, maybe if you can find a first edition of the book uh, and compare it with a current version, if it's different, if the poem is changed, then it would have been changed between the, the editions of the book somewhere. Hmm. I, I think that when I have a couple of available moments, I'm going to look into that. Uh, if you have some time on your hands and you'd like to check that out, please do. Uh, but do let us know since you heard it here on our show. Uh, today, Ronnie, I've got one more that I wanted to mention. And, um, oh, you'll remember about two weeks ago, we did the um, Bubba the Love Squirrel reveal, his, right. his solve. Right. And um, I, Bubba and I had a little falling out, Ron. I don't know if you know that or not. No. Yeah, and I almost hesitate to even talk to you about this, but one of the things that happened, and I didn't mention this to you, and I noticed it myself, uh, in Bubba's re reveal, he didn't have a where warm waters halt. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true. And I had a question about that. That's the, very, that's the starting place. From a viewer who said, uh, how can that be a solve? when he didn't even solve where warm waters halt. So I wrote an email back to Bubba and asked him that question and told him that I, well, I told him I was very disappointed with him. Very disappointed because I felt as though he withheld that. And it's such an integral part of the, the solve that it, it pissed me off. So I wrote him kind of a scathing email and here's his response. Whoops, if that old page will move for me. Can you believe that? Look, it's oh. frozen. Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. All right. Uh, this is from Bubba the Love Squirrel. Lou, I was going to email you this morning, 
And then the boss walked in and well, time for work. First off, I need to apologize to you. I did not exclude where warm waters halt from my solve intentionally. I made a mistake. I just don't put that much into WWWH. It is all but a second thought to me. That's a little contradictory right there when you think about it. He didn't exclude it intentionally. And then he says, I don't think it's, I don't put that much thought into right. it. Right. Okay, so that's contradictory. My email response to you regarding Warm Waters Hall was sarcastic in nature. I guess you just have to know me to understand me, Lou. I type like I speak. I am nothing more than a good old boy from the swamps of Florida. I never intended for you to look or feel like a fool, and to be honest, that statement kind of pissed me off. However, I can understand your view after reviewing my response to you, and like I said, you just got to know me. If I did not want you to know my theory behind warm waters, I would not have told you even if you asked. You need to understand, I have a ton of research on this hunt, and I just don't think about it much, so when a thought crosses my mind or I'm asked a question, I go back into solve mode. Oh, okay. Um, and I am all over the place for a day or so. When I dedicate myself to a task, I do it. Again, this is from Bubba the Love Squirrel. Uh, the episode that we did was, Is This the Solve? When I dedicate myself to a task, I do it. I am a married man of 19 years with three boys, ages 20, 18, and 12. I've been with my lovely wife for 24 years. I am 41 years old. Wow. Congratulations on that. I have dedicated myself to being a good husband and father. That is why I decided that I will not dip into the family's resources and go boots on the ground. I have two in college, and it ain't cheap. So I choose to release my solve to you, all of it. I meant no harm or disrespect. I hope we are still cool. Reach out to me as often as you would like. Contact me by phone if you draw the inclination. Uh, I also pride myself in being loyal, trustworthy, and honest. I get down like that. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time, Bubba. So, well, and I, I will know, I, I will say this, that a lot of people, uh, even if they have done a ton of research, they will not disclose, especially boots on the ground people, won't disclose their where warm waters halt location because it is so i mean first first step first clue mm. if you give everybody the correct first clue uh you may be setting yourself up for disaster so i blame myself a lot ron i i th i think he i don't think he left it out intentionally though for that reason because he's not he's not going to be boots on the ground person uh Probably an oversight, and an oversight on us too that we really didn't even, we didn't go step by step and look for that in the poem or in, in his solve. New rule on the show. Step by step. If you send a solve, it's got to be 100%. And it's going to have to start with dub, 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 yep. H or whatever the hell it is. Yep. Uh, and that's the first thing that I'm going to be looking for. And um, if you say that where warm waters halt is the sink in the bathroom uh i'm not going to read the rest <laughs> yeah so uh there you go uh for those of you sending solves i need you know i gotta see it step by step by step it just has to be uh line by line from the poem at least to get started okay i mean, I mean honestly what we're trying to do here especially for bubba bubba is not going to be boots on the ground but we would like his his research to possibly be used by someone else to find this thing. There were so many tie-ins with his clues, you know, where uh, 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 Homer Brown. Yeah. Um, but if you don't have that first one, you know what? If you were going to make, I was thinking about this the other night. Did you ever make a treasure map when you were small? Yeah, probably. So what you do is you start at where you hide the treasure. And then you start by working backwards to whatever point you want to use as the starting point. Mm -hmm. 
you don't start at the starting point and end up at the treasure. You start at the treasure and work your way back. And then that gives people a, a way to, you know, to find the treasure it's by starting at a starting point. Well, in this poem, because the, the clues are a bit out there, uh, there is, and without a first clue, you can't, there's no possible way to find the treasure. Forrest, could you be a little more vague? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so, again, yeah, no first clue. You can't have a solve. Yeah. It's not to say that we don't want to, and you know, a lot of times people, say, what does that one guy say to me recently? Oh, you're just, you want me to talk to you so that you can suck my solve out of me. <laughs> No, really, dude, I don't. Um, if we you want to send it to me and you want my feedback on it or what I think or is it worthy, uh, whatever, uh, you know, it, it's it's going to have to be together now. Hey, and we've looked at all these solves and give them the, given them every possible, you know, like, hey, thumbs up, looks good, eh, not, maybe not quite on track, but every benefit of the doubt we have given people on their solves. Yeah. So I mean, if it's if it's not too far fetched, um, some of them are a little bit crazy, and we can't possibly publish the works of crazy people. So not every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Much as we might like to. It kind of that kind of takes away a little bit of our shine. Yeah, a little bit. When other crazy people are out there. Yeah, crazier than us. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure that's possible. So, uh, so yeah. Um, look, if you you either trust us or you don't. Right. We've been here for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the last two years plus. Yep. And uh, we've kept our word on everything that we've ever said uh, that we would. If you say to your to, to us, don't share the solve, but we, we don't. Right. If you say to us, I'm never going boots on the ground. Uh, and here's my uh, we do. All right. Uh, but the point that I want you to understand is this. We want you to feel comfortable with us. Yeah. We're not going to watch, read my lips. We are not going to get your treasure. No. Okay. No. And what was that story last week? We said, hypothetically speaking, if Forrest uh, came up with an anonymous name and sent us the exact solve down to the coordinates and it was Forrest, but we didn't know. And we posted that people would still criticize it, right? Even though it's the exact solve. It's it's the man. It could happen. Yeah, it could happen. Uh, you know, Forrest and I are on a first name basis. I think he watches the show. I think he does. Yeah. I hope. It, for, hi, Forrest. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, man. Yeah. We'd seriously. like to come by and have some coffee. I, actually, Ronnie and I would probably like to have a couple beers with you. Yeah, I'm not much of a coffee drinker. No, not to get you hammered or anything, but right. just to have a little guy's time. Yeah. I think it would be fun. You seem like an extremely well-versed, well-read, um, heroic, uh, upfront, loyal. You know what? He's the grandpa that everybody wanted. Yeah. You know, I, I really think he's got so many stories, and grandpas sometimes embellish a little bit. <laughs> I, I think I think Forrest is a pretty good example of that. I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't already heard, I think we revealed this on Sunday Morning Mass, this previous Sunday, uh, we have a book that's on the way. Oh, yeah. TTOC. Yep. Uh, it's coming to us, and uh, as promised, as soon as we get that book, it's going to come to my work. Uh, that day, I'll start reading it, and I'll try to finish it in one day, and uh, then I'll turn it over to Ronnie. And I know a lot of you really want us to read these books. And then one week later, I'll will we'll have read it. Yeah, <laughs> take me a day, take me a week. I'll help you with the big words. Some of the big you know, words, Ronnie. Words are hard. <laughs> All right, we probably ought to get out of here. What do you say? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are correct, sir. I know that word. All right, we. Uh, we appreciate your watching, and we hope you've enjoyed this show, Fen Friday, F Fen Mail. <laughs> I almost couldn't remember the name of the damn thing. <laughs> I made it up. Uh, is, is leave your comments below. We'd love to get them. The more creative, the better. Uh, we try to award a uh, viewer comment of the week right. on our shows, yep. and, 
And so you should be striving for that. Always, that's your goal right there. We don't really give you anything for being the no. number one viewer of the week, but our undying gratitude. It's a lofty goal, but I think you can do it. I think you can too. Our yeah. viewers are so creative. We set the bar pretty low. Pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. Low bar setters. And we go after the low-hanging fruit, too. Yes. <laughs> I got friends in low places. How low can you go? Well, I just I had shoulder surgery, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going for the fruit way up here. You're anyway, not going to so. twist again like we did last summer? No. Okay. No, or, or last fall. All right. <laughs> Careful. That last fall will get you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's uh, subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Give it a like. Ring the bell. That way you get a notification each time a new show comes out. Uh, you've seen our email addresses. They've gone through the bottom of the screen on the crawl throughout the program. And uh, that's going to about do it for us. Thanks so much. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. See you next time on Men Are So Smart.